Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have really interesting, I would say like quick and relaxing question. We know that x plus y equal to 8, we know the product x times y equal to 64 and we need to find our x and y. If you have your own solution, your own assumption, write your assumption down into the comment section and we will check your answers here in just few minutes, so it will be it will be really interesting. So first of all we need to express from here our x or our y. Let's start for example with y. So from the first equation let's express our, our y. As a result we have y equal to we have 8 minus x okay 8 minus x right now we need to plug in from here we need to factor plug in this y into this second equation let's do the thing right now so we have right here our x times y but y equal to 8 8 minus x so we have right here 8 minus x and equal to equal to 64 right now basic basic equation let's open our parentheses so we have right here 8x minus x square and it's, it will be really easy for us when we bring this 64 from our right side to left side. Let's do the thing right now. So we have minus 64 equal to 0. If you look closely, we have looks like a quadratic equation but a li little bit different order. Yeah, we prefer a square on the first position, x on the second position and the constant is in, in their place. So right here this constant is everything is great. So right now let's change, change position right here. So we have minus x square plus 8x and minus minus 64 equal to equal to zero. Really great. Right now the final tricky move we need to multiply both sides or we need to divide both sides, doesn't matter. Let's multiply both sides by minus one because we prefer a positive sign right here near this x square. So let's do this with the with this multiplication by minus one. As a result, we have like x square minus eight x and plus 64 equal to equal to zero and right now this is a basic this is a classic school quadratic equation there are a lot of approaches how can we solve this but the main one the, the main common one we need to uh, find our discriminant let's do the thing right now so our discriminant from school we know that this is equal to b square minus 4ac and let's plug in this coefficient into this into this spot so right here we have b square we have minus 8 square minus 4 times 1 and times 64 okay this is equal to so minus 8 square we know that this is equal to 64 so as a result we have 64 minus 256 because 4 times 64 equal to 250 56. Really great. And our discriminant, a discriminant equal to, if we subtract it, we have 64 minus 256, we have minus 192. And it implied that right here we don't have like real number roots, we will have like complex roots. And this is very tricky question in terms of school because students like don't like a complex, a complex numbers. And in our case, let's solve it. Let's solve it. Let's see what will happen right here. So right now we know that our discriminant is negative. So it implied that right here we will have complex roots. Let's find it. Let's solve it. Let's see what will happen. So x first and x second from school x first and x second basic school formula equal to we have minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a let's plug in e each of these coefficients into this spot so we have minus minus eight okay minus minus eight plus minus square root of discriminant square root of discriminant equal to square root of minus 192 minus 190 92 and we divide all of this by 2 times 1 equal to equal to 2. So this is our x first and x uh, x second. Let's simplify this a little bit. So as a result we'll have like 8 plus minus square root of 192. How can we factor it? I guess you know about this 64 times 3. So as a result we can easily factor this uh, minus 192 as 64 times 3. But it will be really great for us when we when we factor it uh, according to a complex unit. So right now let's leave it like that. So minus 192 divided by 2. But in this uh, new line let's factor this 192. So x first and second equal to 8 we have plus minus, let's write it as square root of mi minus uh, 1, square root of minus 1, times square root of 64, and times square root of 3. So we factor this, we not a factor, we express this as a product of three, three values, okay? So, and we divide all of the thing by, by 2. Right now, square root of 64 equal to 8, it's really great, and square root of minus 1 equal to i, so these are a complex unit, so it is equal to 8, plus minus, we have right here 8i square root of 3, okay, 8i square root of 3, and we divide all of the thing by 2, and the final step, it simplifies us a lot, because we can easily divide our numerator by 2, we will have like 4 plus minus 4i square root of 3, these are our two, two solutions, 2x 
uh, x first and x second but we need to find our y and let's go back right here so y equal to 8 minus x so first of all let's write this equation right here so 8 e y equal to 8 minus x this is our equation and we know that x first equal to for example let's let's express this with the plus sign so we have 4 plus 4i square root of 3 and we know everything about x second with the minus sign so x second equal to 4 minus 4i square root of 3 so right now let's let's split it let's split it by this part and by this part so right here let's find our y first and right here let's find our y second y equal to 8 minus x so uh, in, in this case we have y first equal to 8 minus x first let's plug in this x first into this spot let's do the thing right now so we have y first equal to 8 minus x first x first equal to 4 plus 4i square root of 3. Let's simplify this a little bit. So we have y first equal to 8 minus 4 minus 4i square root of 3. The last step right here, 8 minus 4 equal to 4. So as a result, our y first equal to 4 minus 4i square root of 3. The, almost the same as right here, but with the with the plus right here we have minus, so almost the same. Okay, let's do the thing right now, but with the opposite sign. Okay, right now let's do the same thing with this y y second. It will be like completely the same thing as right here, so we can easily write that our y second equal to four plus four i square root of three. We don't need these steps right here, so we know everything right now about x first and y first, and about x second and y second. Let's write our final answer, and in the end of the video we will check our answers. So let's let's separate this this part right here. So this is our answer, and after this answer we will check we will check it. So our pairs x and y equal to we will select two pairs of solutions. So the first one we have. 4 plus 4i square root of 3 and the second y equal to 4 minus 4i square root of 3 and the second pair okay we have 4 minus 4i square root of 3 and 4 plus 4i square root of 3 okay these are our pairs of solution the first one and the second one but let's check it let's see what will happen right here let's see uh, is it correct or not correct so in the beginning we know everything about our our question we know that x plus y need to be equal to to 8 and our xy equal to equal to 64 right now let's take uh, for example this one or this one doesn't matter we, we have addition and multiplication so we need to check only one of these this one or this one let's for example check check this one so for example with addition so we know x plus y x plus y equal to equal to 8 let right now let's check it so we have 4 plus 4 i square root of 3 next we need to add y y equal to 4 minus 4 i square root of 3 and this one need to be equal to 8 let's see what will happen so 4 i square root of 3 and minus 4 i square root of 3 we can easily cancel and as a result we have 4 and 4 which is equal to 8 so 8 equal to 8 so everything is absolutely great with this first equation let's check this product right here okay let's check this x y equal to 64 let's see what will happen right here okay so our x y equal to equal to 64 right now let's multiply it inside parentheses so the first one we have 4 plus 4 i square root of 3 we have times 4 minus 4 i square root of 3 if this one need to be equal to 64 right now we can easily multiply it by parts of 4 times this parentheses or 4 i square root of 3 times this parentheses but if you look closely we have mm, looks like this is our a plus b yeah we have a plus b and in another parenthesis we have a minus b and let's remember from school what about this identity this is our a square minus b square okay and we can easily write it as 4 square minus b square minus d square let's 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 check it right here on the left side so we have 4 square minus 4 i square root of 3 square this is one this one need to be equal to to 64 okay let's see what will happen so we have 16 minus we have 16 i square times square root of 3 square we have we have we have 3 equal to 64 i square equal to minus 1 these are a complex unit so as a result we have 16 plus 16 times 3 we have we have 48 and this one need to be equal to 64 and i guess this is absolutely correct we have 64 equal to 64 so it implies that our solution is absolutely correct
first equation is absolutely correct and the second equation is absolutely correct which is which is really great so this is our final answer to this question we solved it we have two pairs of solution maybe a little bit long video but i'll try to explain you uh, step by step because maybe a lot of students see my videos uh, watching my channel i really appreciate it and i try to explain it step by step so i hope you learn something new i hope you understand something new this is also also really great basic school equation but with one really interesting tricky move right here with one really interesting tricky moment because a lot of students prefer when discriminant is positive they really like it when we don't have these complex uh, complex numbers but as you can see right here this is a tricky question it looks like on the first side we have real number roots right here but as you can see discriminant is negative so it implies that we will have like two pairs of of solution which is which is also really great if you want to practice your your complex number your system of equation uh, skills right here this question is really great so thank you everyone for your time thank you everyone for watching my video i really appreciate it also write your question write your assumption write your notes down into the comment section let's discuss about this question it will be really interesting to exchange information and also thank you everyone for your support thank you everyone for your likes for your dislikes i really appreciate it when you leave a respond have a great day, low mass, and take care of yourself.